I am Ferdinand Marcos, and I am the President of the Republic of the Philippines. I stand today on behalf of 110 million Filipinos. Hello people and hello universe, it's me again guys, sa mga Marcos loyalists and supporters, hello hello sa mga Mar mga Pilipino and OFW sa buong daigdig, kumusta po kayo? Nako, mayroon tayong very very good news for everybody. <laughs> Anong sabi guys ha? Inauguration of STV Giga Factory. Ay wow! Kapon po yan guys no? Mm, September 30, 2024, dyan sa Clark City, Tarlac. Ay, dako. It's another investment from the uh, foreign country, Australia. Dako, talaga naman o. Oh. Ayan na guys, sinasabi natin eh. Ha? Yung mga, yung mga DDS na tumutul, bumabatikos, uh, naninira sa Pangulo. Sinasabi nila mga kababayan eh. Panay travel daw ang Pangulong Marcos Jr. Mahihaya kayo sa balat nyo, no? Yung tagumpay ng Marcos uh, administration, tulad nito. <laughs> tagumpay nyo din. Dilis, mga dilaws. Kasama kayo dyan. <laughs> Nakinabang kayo, eh. O huwag kayong bumili ng batere, ha? Dyan sa, sa Giga Factory na yan. Ito, guys, ay uh, sa wakas, kauna-unahan, na ay nagkaroon tayo ng factory ng batere. Hmm? Ito po yung uh, katas ng pagpapagal ni Pangulong Marcos Jr. Alam nyo, ito si Pangulong Marcos Jr. Maano ito? Maabilidad ba? Madiskarte? No? Alam niya kung saan, saan niya kukunin para maibsan no? Ang, uh, you know, yung walang trabaho sa Pilipinas. True sa mga foreign investor and local investor, mga kababayan, Ah, kasi kung madami ang magi-invest sa Pilipinas, magki-create pa. Magki-create po 'yan ng maraming trabaho. Pag magki-create ng maraming trabaho, magkaroon po ng maraming trabaho ang Pilipino. Eh, Siyempre kailangan ng ano 'yan, manpower ang investment dito sa Pilipinas, 'di ba? Pag maraming trabaho ang mamamayang Pilipino, hmm, mag-create more 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 jobs, less poverty 'yan, guys. Ha? Maibsan ang kahirapan sa totoo lang. Yan ang naisip ni Pangulong Marcos Jr. Iba rin talaga pag matalino, ano? Oh, yan. Dapat ganyang pinuno ang pipiliin natin. Ha, ah, ganyang kagalin at katalino, maparaan, masolusyon, madiskarte. Oh, hindi pala away, tahimik, trabaho lang, walang personalan. Oh, sabi ng mga DDS, travel travel. Ha, ah, nagsasayang daw ng pera ng bayan. Eh, tingnan mo naman ang kapalit niyan. Billionis, billion dollars yan, no? Yung investment na yan. Hmm, ang laki niyan, mga kababayan. Tingnan nyo. Ha? Oo. Oh, ito, i, i, iyan nga ang sinasabi natin. Magaling kayo po muna, pero kalaunan, makikinabang din naman kayo. No? Ito po ang isa sa pinaka, uh, you know, ang uh, resulta, resort ng kanyang pakikipagdayologo sa mga business leaders uh, sa buong kapuloan ng mundo. Diyan po yan sa Australia noong March sa Asian Summit. Hmm, Kausap niya yung mga business leaders from Australia. Ah, yung bilateral meeting niya. Hmm? Yung uh, roundtable meeting niya with the businessman. Tapos isinama niya yung mga icon ng Pilipinas tulad ni Mr. Rason, Aboytis, Pangilinan, Mr. Ang. Para makipagdiling, di ba? Tingnan nyo naman mga kababayan. Anong nangyari? O oh, galit kayo sa mga oligarko? Eh yung mga oligarko na yung sinasabi ng mga dilis eh nakakatulong sa Pilipinas ah may mga oligarko na ano na mga smuggling <laughs> ah, hindi ito ibig sabihin yung mga oligarko na icon tulad ni Aboites ni Ayala malaki ang naitutulong sa bansang Pinas yan ha ah, nagbabayad sila ng tax mayroon silang manpower mga Pilipino na trabahador nakakatulong oh sa kanilang mga pamilya di ba ayan ang katas ah, another another investment Mm, kaya kudos lang sa so, kay Pangulong Marcos Jr. sa galing, magaling ito eh. Talaga basta uh, sa bagay guys, ang kurso nito is sa uh, politics economics ba? Baka related talaga diyan ano. Pag uh, dating sa business, maasahan mo si Pangulong Marcos Jr. very ano ito eh, mind uh, business minded no. At uh, kapakanan ng Pilipino talaga ang inaalala niya. Of course, ang mga magsasaka talaga number one priority niya po 'yan ano. 
So dahil dito mga kababayan, malaking katulungan ito sa atin. Ah, oh. Mga Tay Marcos, okay mo bibili ng baterya na. <laughs> so, joke lang guys. But anyway, panoorin niyo yung full speech niya at basahin ko ito para kompleto detalyado. Okay, mga beswa? Eh, ito na, basahin ko, okay? Dito to guys, oh. Na sa 2500 na trabaho ang inaasang mal malilikha ng ST Battalion. Ayan, uh, which is ang STB Giga Factory sa Kapastarla. Ang kauna-unahang pabrika ng Advanced Iron Phosphate Batteries sa Pilipinas. Ay, wow, so siyan. <laughs> Ayon kay Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. sa production nito ng battery para sa industriya ng renewable energy at electric vehicle. Ay, so siyan. Pwedeng pwede sa lahat. Ang proyekto ay isang hakbang patungo sa mas malinis at ma Makakalaka, makakalikasang bagong Pilipinas ay wow at STB Giga Factory ay isa sa mga resort resulta na plates na nakalap ng Pangulo sa Philippines Business Forum sa Australia noong Marso 2024 oh yan nga eh sabi ko sa inyo mga kababayan ano? eto basahin ko itong pinaka uh, kung ilang billion ba ang investment nito no? basahin ko saglit Oh, ito guys ha, basahin natin in English ha. Hmm. Sabi dito guys na ng RTV and in a significant move towards sustainable energy, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. inaugurates that the ST Battalion STB Giga Factory Developments First. Ayan no? in English lang no. Manufacturing plants for lithium iron phosphate batteries in a ceremonial suite on at Felimbes Innovation Park in New Clark City, Tarlac on September 30. 2024, malaman natin ilang, ilang billion ito. Funded by the Australian investment firm, St. Baker Energy, this project was part of the investment commitments announced that Asian-Australian Special Summit in March during which President, Fer uh, President Marcus Jr. secured that 86 billion worth of business deal. Oh, <laughs> oh see? Oh, yan, no? 86 billion. Oh, billion is na yan. Sa kayo makakita niyan, mga kababayan? Eh, yung mga pagtutulog sa ng mga delays na ito? O, oh, travel, travel. Eh, yan ang kapalit. Kayo naman, o. Oh. Hmm, makikinabang rin naman kayo, eh. Tuloy! STB Giga is the first locator at the Felon Best Innovation Park. With the 9,450 hectare. Ay, malaki ito, guys. Malawak. New Clark City managed by the uh, Business Conversation and Development Authority, which is ang BCDA. It expected to generate around 5 billion annually once in it reaches full capacity providing 2,500 jobs for local engineers, technicians, and administrative staff. Oh, pero nyo, ang, laki ng, ang laking katulungan yan sa ating mamamayang Pilipino. 2,500 na trabaho. Yan ang tinatawag na manpower. Ha? Ah? Oh, kaya nga bumaba ang, ang unemployment rate natin eh kasi maraming mga nag invest na dito na mga foreign country at mga lokal nagpapatayo sila ng malalaking pabrika kung ano-ano ay nagkikreate ng trabaho kaya nga ang unemployment rate bumaba ng bumaba at tumataas naman dumami ang mga nagkakaroon ng trabaho o oh, bakit? dahil yan ha? kay Pangulong Marcos Jr. Ma ma -ano, matalino utak nito Alam niya kung saan kukunin ang uh, ano ang uh, uh, pagkakaroon ng trabaho ng mamayang Pilipino. Totoo naman 'yun eh. Uh, isang ka makikita ng ganang ganyang klasing pangulo, mayroon ba yung mga puon yung ganyan? Wala. Walang walang alam yung mga puon yung kundi ano lang eh, investment sa tukhang. Eh di kay naloka. Ito eh, hindi eh. Para sa kapakanan ng mamayang Pilipino, pagpapalago ng ekonomiya ng uh, bansa. Pero wag kayo guys ha. Siya lang nakapagbigay ng uh, Uh, ng ano yung karangalan ng Pilipinas karangalan sa Pilipinas na talagang ang Philippines number one growth economy no di sa buong South e South Asia ang Pilipinas dahil yan kay Pangulong Marcos Jr. ha ah nakikilala na naman tayo sa iba't ibang dako ng mundo kaya tingnan mo nagsusugod ng mga investment dito eh magugulat na lang tayo na mag may inaugurasyon na naman ayan oh oh di ba Ito na naman. Hmm, tuloy. Oh, sabi po dito, the company aims to produce 2 gigawatts hours, ayan. Mhm. Mm of batteries annually by 
2030. This output is projected to support around 18,000 electric vehicles. Oh, maganda ito ha. EBS or nearly half a million home battery system positioning the Philippines as a key player in South Asia clean energy storage landscape. So guys ha, pwede kaya ito ano? Uh, bumili ng battery at para isaksak natin ang mga rep natin doon, mga TV, washing machine. <laughs> Hindi. <laughs> Pwede kaya 'yan, guys. Hindi. Sabi ko lang 'yan, ano. <laughs> Tatanong lang. Tuloy. In addition to battery production, STB Giga plans to expand into the EV market, aligning with the administration vision to develop a local EV industry and reduce the Uh, uh, dependence on imported fuels ay wow social <laughs> o ito pa once STB Giga reaches its target capacity the company will have invested around ay matindi ito mga base yun 35 million dollars in the Philippines OM goes see guys ha? bakit nagkaroon tayo ng ganito Ah, dahil yan sa matalino ng pangulo, never forget yan. Hmm? Sayang naman itong pangulo ito eh, 6 years lang, dapat may extend pa. Sayang yung galing niya kasi mamuno eh. Wala eh, hindi natin nakikita yan sa mga ibang pinuno. Hmm? Walang ila, walang ginawa kundi magtukhang na magtukhang. Well, anyway, guys, para kumpleto detalyado panoorin niyo ito mga beswa, itong speech niya at yung pag-open uh, niya ng switch, na Uh, siya ang nagbukas ika nga ng factoring ito see you again on my next upload video abangan nyo ang mara mararami pang magagandang uh, ano guys ha blessing sa Marcos Admini Administration and magagandang programa see you again on my next upload video bye bye boy and baboos God bless Philippines don't forget to like hit the button bell para laging update okay eto na thank you for watching At the count of three, Mr. President, may we request you to cut the ribbon. One, two, three. Thank you, Mr. President. This is indeed a momentous occasion, ladies and gentlemen, as the St. B. Giga Factory is the first in the Philippines to produce lithium-iron phosphate batteries and the first locator of the Bill Invest Innovation Park in New Clark City, Capas, Tarlac. The establishment of the St. B. Giga Factory is a result of the President's state visit to Melbourne, Australia last 3rd of March 2024, where he was able to secure a whooping 1.53 billion U.S. dollars or 86 billion worth of investments through the signing of business deals. This included the Memorandum of Understanding between St. B. Giga and the Basis Conversion and Development Authority, or BCDA, committing to further upgrade its factory capacity from an initial 600 megawatts to 2 gigawatt hours by 2023. The ceremonial switch on that signifies the start of the factory's full operation. The President will be joined by our Chairman, Mr. Trevor St. Baker, and our CEO, Mr. Dennis Ibarra. At the count of three, Mr. President, may we invite you to please press the button. One, two, three. Thank you, Mr. President. Wow. At this point, we shall witness the President as he tours St. B. Giga's next generation battery manufacturing facility. He is currently being briefed. By facilities and site services senior manager, Mr. Deddy Barreto. Wow. Joining the tour, our chairman, Trevor St. Baker, and our CEO, 
Mr. Dennis Ibarra. So, nakita nyo yan, mga kababayan? <laughs> ha? Kung gaano kagaling ang Pangulo. di ba ang saya sa kalooban na nakikita niya yung pagpapagod niya? Pagpupunta niya sa ibang bansa, hindi napapagod. Kasama po yung mga economic teams niya. Oh, huwag niyo sabihin. Ha? Ah, Marcos Loyalis lang makinabang dyan, hindi. Ha? Ah, eh, pang Pangulong Marcos Jr., lahat ng Pilipino makikinabang, no? Wala naman political color yan, eh. Ah, hindi naman marung kasi mag-away yan. Hindi naman marung manira na tao yan eh. As long as Pilipino ka, makikinabang ka sa lahat ng magagandang programa ng Marcos Ad Administration. Yung tagumpay ng Marcos Administration, tagumpay natin lahat. ba diba sabi niya, tulungan nyo ako, suportahan nyo ako, ah, ipagdasal nyo ako. Oh, kahit pa paano, slowly by slowly, iangat niya ang, ang ekonomiya ng bansa. Sa mga nagdaas ng past administration, walang nangyari na ano, na maganda, walang asinso. Hindi nga 100% ha, na maaasinso ang bansa natin kasi maraming kurap. Kaya nga o, oh, nililinisan niya nga eh. Eh yung quad kong, tingnan nyo. <laughs> Bulgar, mga korupsyon, mga nakaraan. Hmm, ang daming nawalang pera, lalo na sa Parmali, di ba? 11 billion. Sabi ni dating senador uh, ano, Gordon sa Parmali. Eh di kayo naloka. O tingnan nyo sa DOH. O, di ba makulong sana si ano, DOH sa uh, Duque? Nagpiansa lang eh. O nakulong yung ano ah. Yung isang si, yung si Atty. Lau. Ay, so. O, si Pangulong Marcos Jr. Alam nyo, basta Pilipino ka, makikinabang ka sa lahat. Okay? This 5,000 square meter facility is fully equipped with the latest technologies in the industry. It aims to export 70% of its output to Australia and Southeast Asia and to enter the electric vehicle product market in the coming years. Sabi Gigafactory Incorporated Manufacturing Complex will start its official operations on October 1, 2024. si Pangulong Marcos Jr. business minded dito guys eh. Sa totoo lang. Hmm. Sa bagay yung pinag-aralan niya eh, eh, eh related yan eh. 
Ano yung political economics ba yan? Hmm. So, uh, ay nako, nakaka-overwhelm. Shout out sa mga kababayan natin. Ano guys, ang kapalagayan nyo ako? Ang kapalagayan ko masaya. O, tingnan nyo yung nasa likuran. O, ang ating mga kapwa Pilipino, ay, naka-uniform sila. Hmm? May trabaho sila. Sabi ko sa inyo eh. Nagkatrabaho sila. Ha? Huh? Big deal sa kanila yan. Biro mo, laking factory yan. <laughs> wow na wow. Hmm. Saan kayo makakita ang klaseng pangulo yan? Saan lang mayroong ganyang klaseng diskarte eh? Yung kanyang, yung galing sa pamumuno. Ganon ang leader. Alam niya kung paano palaguin ang ekonomiya ng bansa. At alam niya ang paraan. Masolusyon ito si Pangulong Max Jr. Eh. Ha? Oh. When it's come to business, o oh, business to business, ang ginagawa niya, alam niyo, sinama niya yung mga icon sa Pilipinas. Tulad ni Mr. Ang, ng SMC. Ha? Si Mr. Tan, ng Mega World. O, oh, si uh, Mr. Rason, si Mr. Aboytis, Gukong Wei, at si Mr. Pangilinan, ayan si Mr. C. Kasama niya lahat yan. Ha? Ah, sa international, uh, ano niya, trip niya, guys. Kasi, ang purpose niya is makipag-usap sa mga banyagang malakilalang business na sa buong mundo. ba? Diba? Oh, di natin alam kung siyempre makipag-deal, ba? Diba? Oh, galing, magaling si Pangulong Marcos Jr. Sabi ng mga DDS eh. Oh, si Pangulong Marcos Jr. para daw sa mga oligarko. Pero may klaseng ganong utak. Hindi nyo alam yung mga oligarko na pinagsasabi nyo. Bakit? Hindi naman sila masama eh. Nakakatulong sila sa bansa natin. Tulad nila Mr. Ang ng uh, San Miguel Bear. Ay, San Miguel. <laughs> San Miguel Corporation. Ah, sila ni uh, ano, Mr. Ayala. Eh, di ba mga oligarko ang tawag sa kanila? Bakit? Nagbabayad ng tax ng mga, mga, mga ngayon eh, di ba? O, oh, malaki nga ang nagpasalamat nga sila kay Pangulong Marcos Jr. eh. O, oh, eh mga past administration eh, wala silang, uh, kumbaga, <coughs> wala silang role sa Malacanang. Pero ngayon, mayroon. Yung, yung ano yung, pika ba yan? Hmm, private company? Hmm, iyan ang pinakamaganda. Dati-dati sabi ni Mr. Uh, sino ba yun? Aboytis ba yun? Dati-dati daw, pag uh, yung uh, State of the Nation, hindi, hindi daw sila iniimbita. Pero daw sa panahon ni Pangulong Marcos Jr., be, lahat ng private sector, ha, imbitado sila. Oh, <laughs> di ba? Galing, ha? Oh, kaya hanga sila kay Pangulong Marcos Jr. Eh, may mga video tayo dyan, eh. Ininterview nga, in, <coughs> in, in, nga ang mga yun, eh, ang mga oligar, oligar ko na mayayaman na yan, eh. Pa pala sa akin, hindi, hindi sila oligarko, sila yung mga icon na talagang nakakatulong din sila sa Pilipinas kasi mga investment din nila, yung mga lokal tulad ni Aboytis. nag invest din sila mismo dito sa Pilipinas. Malaking na itutulong nila sa mga yung Pilipino. ba? Diba? Kasi kailangan nila ng manpower. O, hindi lang yun. Malaking nagbabayad ng tax mga yan. O, huwag nyo sabihin hindi. O, di, kung ayaw nyo maniwala, ipunta nyo si Mr. Rason, si Mr. Aboytis. Sabihin nyo sa kanya, nagbabayad ka ba ng tax? Baka sampalin kayo, mga anti Marcos. Di ba? Hindi sila, ano, si Pangulong Marcos Jr. Mahal niya ang kanyang bansa. Mahal niya ang mamayang Pilipino, kahit sino ka. Eh, eh binabastos nyo nga eh. Pero ang ginawa niya, gumagawa siya ng paraan. Para lang maayos ang bansang ito. Para linisin. Ah, yung mga dumi ng mga nakaraang mga panahon. Kayo talaga, oo. Eh, dapat, nagpasalamat kayo. Kahit papano, mayroon tayong pangulo na magaling. Ha? Wala siyang ginawa, kundi yung tulungan ng mga magsasaka. Number one priority niya kasi yan eh. Bakit? Eh, eh yun ang number one talaga na nagbibigay ng mga pagkain sa atin. O, ba? Diba? Lahat, mga sibuyas, farmers ng, farmers ng sibuyas, mga bawang, luya, ba lahat, mga gulay. Mm, mga asin Pri priority niya yan eh so para sa akin saludo ko kay Pangulong Marcos Jr sa kanyang pamumuno sa lahat ng mga ahinsa ng gobyerno ayan so yun guys panoorin natin ang kanyang talumpati okay siyempre wag niyo kalimutan naman mag, mag likes and uh, comment and subscribe see you again guys on my next upload video Boy, 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 and babus, God bless, Philippines, eto na. On behalf of, it's my huge pleasure and honor.
on behalf of the directors, the staff, and the, and uh, and the uh, the workers here at Tambi Giga Factory to be able to welcome the president of the Philippines t today. Um, to welcome not only the president, but Ambassador HKU, um, the Capas Mayor Rodriguez. Everyone is a special guest here, but the very special ones are the Department of Trade and Investment, Christine and Rodji, and the BCA Chairman GT, General Thompson Lantion, and Phil and Vest President and CEO, Mrs. Josephine Yap. But you're all special guests for us today. We're very privileged to be able to be here and welcome all of you at this at this particular day, it, it is a it is a very important day, really, for for Philippines and the Innovation Centre here. And Mr. President, I've had the honour of, of having to welcome you for the third time. Fourteen months ago, I, I had the op, on, the honour of welcoming you to the signing the signing of the of the contract to build this factory. Fourteen months ago. And then in Melbourne for the Asia and Australian um, Special Summit, where, where I must say the delegations from the Philippines swamped all the other Asian countries and were very impressive. And, uh, and uh, there was a special investment section for the, that the President uh, chaired where, where, we, where we entered into contracts to double the planned size of the factory by 2030 for our other investment in, in, EV, in pure EV to, to roll out our electric trikes in more and more, in more, and more cities, whereas we've been concentrating on Antipolo and Quezon City, and, uh, and to also not only make the batteries but sell energy solutions to, to um, commercial premises. Um, once we clean the air with getting rid of gasoline exhaust and, and, and improve our health, we, the, the next move is solar on every roof and batteries supporting that to provide 24-7 power and especially in some of the islands that we have here. And, and today, when you, and, and then the third time today when you've officiated for this inauguration of the factory. Our investment fund, some B Cap Capital Ventures, has been investing in emissions reduction in the transport sector in the Philippines for seven years, uh, with local partners Pure EV in the rollout of electric trikes in Antipolo and Quezon City. This urgent reduction in motor vehicle emissions is not only to get rid of greenhouse gas emissions, but to get rid of gasoline exhaust, which, uh, which it will greatly improve public health here in the Philippines. The, the inauguration of the Sambaker, of the Sambi Giga Factory is a pivotal moment for the Philippines' renewable energy landscape that you, Mr. Chairman, have been championing, um, championing for a long time. We're doing this with our joint venture partners, Olipower, Olipower have been supplying the batteries to Spuri V for our electric trikes, and now we joint venture with them in, in, in rolling out um, up to two gigawatt hours of batteries by 2030. It, it is a pivotal moment also for the expansion of the Australian and Philippines bilateral trade and investment, and to have the head of the department here today and, uh, and our our esteemed um, ambassador, uh, Excellency HKU, uh, are the ones who are, uh, are helping us in the in the vanguard of rolling out what was decided at the uh, Asian Australian Summit in March to improve bilateral trade between Australia and the Asian countries, and and uh, together with your government's encouragement, we're leading all of the countries. I think in in the in the bilateral trade with Australia. Also, because also present today, we have the CEO of AMSL, AMSL Aero. And AMSL Aero is developing hybrid battery and green hydrogen-driven electric vertical off-taken land vehicles. 
these will be ideal for island hopping in the Philippines and other Asian countries with, with zero emission greenhouse emissions and will also help promote the setup and use of green hydrogen fuel storage in the Philippines. And AMSL Aero later, later this week expects to execute an agreement with BCDA uh, here, in, here in New Clark City um, for another possible factory investment in the innovation zone here at, um, at New Clark City. I might say finally that I've heard the President say many times that the common language and multicultural makeup and democratic electoral systems of our two countries and, and, uh, and similar time zones should make bilateral trade investment between the Philippines and Australia as easy as it can get. And that has, to, and that has been our experience as we now employ 40, 40 Philippine managers, technicians and manufacturing line workers, which will more than, double, more than triple by next year as we expand some B Giga battery manufacturing towards its 2 gigawatt hour battery storage capability. And without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce our Australian Ambassador, Her Excellency HKU, who together with other Australian Embassy personnel have also helped to make our undertaking of business here in this country easier than in other countries. So welcome, Excellency HK. President Ferdinand Amarcos Jr., the President of the Republic of the Philippines, distinguished guests, and ladies and gentlemen, magandang taahali sa inyong lahat. First, I would like to start by congratulating Sen Baker, a proud Australian firm who has stood up Sen B Giga Factory in record time. I'm sure many of you will remember it was only just over six months ago that we had the pleasure of citing the signing of the MOU, which, of course, none other than President Marcos actually provided as witness. Wow. And here we are. How fantastic is this? I would say that today we are witnessing our strategic partnership in action. Our two countries are working very closely together, not just government to government, but business to business and people to people, to together create a world that we both want to live in. One that is peaceful, stable and prosperous. Not just for us now, but for our future generations as well. And this Sen B Giga Factory is a fantastic example of how governments and businesses can work together to tackle even the biggest challenge the world is facing right now, climate change. And while doing so, contribute to the prosperity of both our countries. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? This is exactly what we want. So together, Australia and the Philippines, we are making important strides towards the world of our dreams. And I believe that with Mr. President, your staunch support for our bilateral relationship, we will all be inspired and energized to keep this work going, to work together, to create the world that not only we deserve, but our future generations deserve. So thank you so much for having me here. Maraming maraming salamat po. Mabuhay. Thank you. Mabuhay. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Um, Australian Ambassador to the Philippines, Her Excellency He Kyung Yu. The St. B. Giga Factory Incorporated Chairman, Trevor Baker. The Basis Conversion Development Authority Chairman, Thompson Lanchon. General Tom. Capas Talak City Mayor, Rosela Rodriguez. The Philinvest Development Corporation Vice Chairman, Lourdes Josephine Gotiano Miap. St. B. Giga Factory Incorporated Officials. 
fellow workers and government ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, if uh, you will notice, uh, you will not, I have this silly grin on my face. And that is because this is really a very, very exciting day for us. And uh, we have worked very hard and tried to do our best to bring this kind of technology to the Philippines with a clear recognition that this is the future. And today we see that. The future, we take a big step into the future. So now we are, uh, as you say, entering a new age where the battery technology has taken uh, its front and center in all that we are trying to do. When the term lithium iron phosphate came out, well, we thought this is another complicated uh, technology and perhaps it belongs in very sophisticated uh, operations such as space travel and, and the like. However, that now is uh, completely different because we have that technology now here in the Philippines and this promises to be a first step in all that we are hoping to do, not only to help the uh, the, the, not only to help and create jobs for Filipinos, not only to bring a transfer of technology to the Philippines, but also because we now are able to do a very solid and serious step in mitigating and adapting to climate change. This is something perhaps that we would hear, perhaps when we say, when we first heard this, this is something that just a scientist would. Uh, would be using. These are terms that only scientists would be using, but no longer. Because uh, we have, we, we are now in the middle of a technological storm. We may not be launching rockets just yet, but despite the weather's best attempts, we are stepping boldly into the future. A future that is sustainable, innovative, and transformative. The inaug this inauguration of the St. B. Giga factory is a remarkable example of what happens when our national agenda of promoting clean energy intersects with a solid commitment from the private sector. Your Excellency, Ambassador Yu, you hit the nail on the head there. This is the best example that we can show, not only because we have finally brought it to fruition, but we brought it to fruition in what I consider to be record time. In fact, this development is among the pledges that we received during the Philippine Business Forum in Australia, Melbourne, last March, six, in uh, Canberra. Six months later, we are witnessing how this pledge has come into reality. I cannot overstate the importance of this investment, hence the silly grin on my face. It sends this message to the world. The Philippines is now ready to innovate, to lead, to become the go-to destination for high-tech, high-impact investments. As the first manufacturing plant in the Philippines for advanced iron phosphate batteries, often used in renewable energy and electrical vehicles, the St. B. Giga factory sets the stage for the Philippines to become a player in clean storage and in clean energy storage in our part of the world, in Southeast Asia, in our region. Looking towards the future, when this factory reaches full capacity, it's expected to channel 5 billion pesos into the economy annually. It will create 2,500 jobs for Filipinos. And these are not just regular jobs. These are, a very, these are very important high-tech jobs, which is where the jobs, that these are the quality jobs that we would like to bring to our countrymen. So from engineers and technicians to administrative personnel, it is about nurturing homegrown talent and offering opportunities that match the ambitions right here on our own soil. When St. B. Giga hits full capacity by 2030, it will be producing two gigawatt hours of batteries annually. 
This is the equivalent to around 18,000 electric vehicles, wow. almost half a million home battery systems. That's my president. This facility runs in tandem with the Philippines' renewable energy landscape as we transition our country to renewable energy. Your products could help entice more investors in renewable energy facilities in the country. The upstream and the downstream businesses that will come from this are just going to be tremendous. We also welcome St. B. Giga's plan to enter the EV product market in the coming years. This certainly aligns with our plans to develop the country's EV industry and produce locally made EVs and EV components, reducing our reliance on imported fuel. To promote local engineering talent, and this is another very exciting aspect to what we have uh, opened here today, St. B. Giga also has committed to set up partnerships with Philippine academic and in industry institutions. We hear very much in, the, in this day and age about the transition into the digital space, the transition into high-tech industries. And uh, the key to the success of that transition is the buzzwords now are reskilling and upskilling. And that is why we hold very much important to the training that will be received by our uh, uh, by, by local Filipinos and who will be able to uh, take that uh, new skills, the new knowledge, and bring it to operations such as this. With renewable energy sources, and e while they were once and EVs were once seen as uh, just options, they must now be our path forward to adapt and to mitigate the effects of climate change. Every step that we make to, towards sustainable energy development is an investment in a brighter, healthier future for our children, for our country. To the entire team behind the St. B. Giga factory, thank you for taking this leap of faith with us. You have established a foundation for a cleaner, greener, and more prosperous Bagong Pilipinas. And to the rest of us, I will say, don't blink. Change is happening faster than you think, even when faced with challenges like Typhoon Julian. While we are here discussing innovation, the government is working to behind the scenes. Thousands of family food packs are now being prepared. Healthcare centers are on high alert, and our farmers and fisher folk are taking steps to safeguard their livelihoods. There are, uh, the Typhoon Julian is going to pass north of the Philippines, so those in uh, regions 1, 2, and 3, as well as NCR and CAR, know that we are not just talking about resilience. We are making it happen. So if you are an entrepreneur, a startup, an industry leader, wondering where to place your next big bet, look no further. We have the talent certainly the determination and now the infrastructure to make your boldest ideas a reality even if the weather tries to say otherwise let us remember why we are doing this beyond the figures and the projections and the technology it comes down to our shared responsibility to our environment and to the next generation once again Congratulations to everyone who has been involved both in the private sector and in the public sector in making this a reality. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat at sama-sama nating isulong ang isang mas matatag na bagong Pilipinas. Magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat, mahal na Pangulo.